Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to show you the malware scan within Security Security. I've already got the plugin installed, activated and set up on this website so what I'm going to do now is click on malware scan to kick it off. So the scan's not completed, it took maybe five seconds or so and it's got some results for us here. So what we can first see is that there's no malware identified on the website. You can see all of uh, these super important little bits and pieces are all reporting as clean, which is all fantastic. After that, we can go and check out website details using this tab here. You can see it's picked up a great deal of information on this particular website, including the domain, the IP, WordPress, PHP version, CMS, uh, and so on. But there are some recommendations in here, as you can see. There's basically a few security headers that are missing. Uh, these are all relatively easy to set up though, uh, which can be done very quickly. And additionally, directory listing is enabled. So it's even provided a URL for us here. Uh, and what we can do is just open that up. And there you go. You can see that the default Apache directory listing is working, uh, which is probably not something we want to have on. So we can pretty easily turn that off. We'll just click on iframes, links, and scripts now. And it's just showing the various links and scripts that are included on the website. There's nothing malicious there, nothing to report which is why for this blacklist status, modified files and so on, those tabs are all just a regular gray color as opposed to website details, which is red, therefore indicating there are changes that we should be making. We can click on blacklist status anyway, just to see what data it can present for us. And you can see here, it's going against uh, Google safe browsing data, Norton safe web, fish tank, opera, and so on, but it's all all positive results there, it's all really good. And then what we can lastly check is the modified files. And it's just only checking within the WP content directory. And what it shows you is when that particular file was last modified. It also provides a pretty handy checksum as well, which means that when those files are integrity checked, if there's been any change, the checksum will change as well, making it super simple to keep track of those modifications. That's all we need to go through for the malware scan area in this plugin. Uh, as we've demonstrated, it's pretty straightforward. The scan's really super quick to run and it gives you a lot of handy data on, you know, is your site safe, is it clean, and a few security tweaks you can make. If you have any questions about what we've done in this video, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you've enjoyed, please hit subscribe for more.